if you watch this video through, you're going to know more about illegal immigration than you could have possibly known going to any of the major networks. And here we go. So, first of all, the most important thing is data and source. You want concrete stats and information that are not uh, touched by bias or desire for power. And where do you get that from? You get it from the Government Accounting Office report uh, of 2011 that kept the data of illegal immigrants, uh, their crime, from around 1960 to 2010. All right. Now, I'm going to show you the report itself, but first you can see the, the, the link. Okay, where to go, and it'll also be in the description. And I'm going to tell you the numbers first, so you know them, and then you can go look and make sure I'm not lying to you. <clears throat> Between 1990 and 2010, illegal immigrants raped 60,000 people, murdered 20,000 people, assaulted 200,000 people, had 80,000 burglaries, and it runs off the map here, but there's 2,000 arsons, there's 80,000 uh, um, carjackings, and right now you're probably like, that's bullshit. That can't be true, because you've never heard it anywhere. And here's the thing, if you go to CNN and MSNBC, what they do is, when they talk about illegal immigrant uh, crime data, they merge it with legal immigrant crime data or people who come here uh, as refugees. So they merge it with other data to make it seem like they're not uh, committing that many crimes. Now, why do they do that? Well, I mean, it could be that they're hoping these people have kids and that they end up voting Democrat because they do overwhelmingly. Um, and so that could be it. But, you know, if that is the case, then that would make them sociopathic because of what I'm going to show you here and what I just showed you is you have thousands and thousands of women being raped and murdered by illegal immigrants and this is factual this is in the report and you can go look at it right now the link is in the description but let's let's talk about cinema and her problem her problem is this now here's the report itself and i show you this first and i'm going to show you what she said in a minute that's just shocking it's amazing what she said, but here we go. So what they tell you here is the overall data is from 1955 to 2010, okay? However, the data you're about to see, it says 90% of the arrests in our study population occurred after 1990. Now, the report, the data ends at 2010, so 90% is from 1990 to 2010. And what are those numbers? Well, let's go right here. Estimated number and percent of criminal alien arrests, offenses by type and offense. So, here we go. So you have 213 total assaults. So, I, I round that down to 200,000 because it's only 90%. You have 90% of these burglaries. I make it 80,000, I guess I, sh I should raise it, but you have 25,000 homicides, so 90% of that from 1990 to 2010. The point is, it increased every year more and more and more, and so now it's 2018. I have no, it must be horrible. Every year is getting worse, and all of these statistics, these represent people. These are people. These are violent offenses that happen to Americans. Because we didn't have a wall, and because we didn't have uh, politicians who cared enough about Americans to make it sure these people didn't come here. 
Now, you're probably saying, wait, what do you mean they don't care about Americans, Mike? Of course they do. Cinema loves Americans. I mean, does she really? Then, in 2010, after this report, uh, after the data of this report came to light, um, Cinema stopped legislation that would have saved many lives. I mean, she stopped tougher laws on illegal immigrants. She did. And not only did she do it, she goes to Ted, the uh, show, and she boasts about it. I mean, this is her defining moment. Here she is. In 2010, Arizona passed the strictest anti-immigration legislation in the history of our country. This legislation, SB 1070, required police officers to inquire into the status of individuals they interacted with. I knew that it was my responsibility to do what I could and use what I'd learned over the last years to stop this legislation. Now here are some victims, just so you can put the face, faces to the data. Um, now there's, there are so many, and you can go look. Um, but here you go. I knew that it was my responsibility to do what I could and use what I'd learned over the last years to stop this legislation. 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 We are back with this heartbreaking story. An illegal immigrant without a driver's license responsible for this car wreck that killed a volunteer firefighter and two young children ages 4 and 22 months. Now, the heartbroken widow and mother is fighting for justice so that other families don't have to go through what she went through. And she is outraged that her family's killer only got two years behind bars. To stop this legislation. To stop this legislation. To stop this legislation. All right, now, so the most important thing of this video is that you guys are informed. And I can take you through this data, but it would be better that you guys looked by on your own. Now, here's the link. Okay. And I'll put it in the description of the video. And I can take you through it, but... The data on how many prisoners there are, um, here, this is criminal aliens and U.S. citizens in federal prison, okay? 2010, 160,000 American citizens, 54,000 illegal immigrants. That's 25% about of the people in the federal prison are illegal immigrants. That's amazing. That's a lot of people. And, you know, every one of these people costs about 30 grand to take care of throughout a year. 30 grand per person. So 30 grand times 554,000. You guys could do the math. Okay, this is where they're from. Okay. Okay, some of these are for state prison. Uh, these are the states most affected. And here's Arizona in the blue. So from 10,000 to 100,000 uh, criminal alien incarcerations, in, incarcerations from, uh, for 2009. Now that's a lot of people, and I don't know why on earth you would want to vote for cinema wants to be senator. So all of this data is here. You guys should go look at it yourself. So what I'm asking you guys to do, look at this. I mean, look at this. 26 or greater amount of arrests.
the one per so thirty two hundred people had twenty six hundred arrests. Twenty six hundred. I mean thirty two hundred people. Um. This this is just this is amazing, man. Look at this. 11 to 15 arrests. 26,000 people. 6 to 10 arrests. I mean, how many times have you been arrested, for real, in your life? Now, this here is important. Because the media is going to tell you these people aren't violent. They're nice. They just come here and they, you know, they just want to work hard and support their little family. But that's not the case. They want to come here and rape you. 12%. Rape. Assault. 35%. <laughs> this is so sick, man. This is uh, 8% homicide. Homicide. And here's the totals. And I showed you this before. So 115,000 people had their house broken into. Now remember, from 1990 to 2010, 90% of this happened. Okay, so 20 years. So you put 20 into, uh, what, about 100,000? And that's how many you get a year. That's a lot, of, it's a lot, man. 25,000 Americans murdered. This is like Vietnam. This, what happens when there's a school shooting? What happens? It's all over the place. Eight kids died. Ten kids died. It's awful. It is terrible. You don't hear about... You, it's all you hear about for a week, okay? Um, and they, during the news, they remind you. You know, last year it was 10, and the year before it was 20, and, you know, over the last 20 years, we've had... And they'll say like 150 kids have died or something, right? But these same people do not care. They will not even touch this report. Where it says 25,000 Americans, 90% of which happened from 1990 to 2010. 213,000 assaults. 69,000 rapes. Rapes! I mean, these are the same people telling you about Me Too and, you know, it's awful to say, to, like, uh, whistle at a woman. I mean, it's like a sex offense or to hold a door open. This is horrible stuff, right? Um, but they ignore this. And by the way, these same people who are talking about they're pro-women. Well, I don't think they are, though, because in liberal states, you can rape someone and get out of prison without doing any jail time. And at the most in California, you're going to get about five years for rape for your first offense. At the most. Okay, at the least, you're, you're getting out. Uh... Now, you compare that to Louisiana, where you can get the death penalty, you can get life imprisonment, but the minimum is like 20 years. You guys can go look this up yourself. It's all there online. And just compare any very liberal state, like New York, to any very conservative state. And ask yourself, who really cares about women here? Because it appears to me that not only do liberals not care about Americans, because they ignore this data, 
but they also don't care that women get raped. I mean, if you cared about women getting raped and wanting to prevent it, you would have the strictest laws in place. I mean, if we were, if we went by the law of God, you get the death penalty, and that's what you should get. You should get the death penalty for rape when there's when there's uh, two witnesses, and um, and you're sure that this happened. So, now you guys can go look at all this, and this here is important for people in Arizona. The lo location of criminal alien arrests. Nine percent of all these crimes happen in Arizona. That's a lot. A lot of women in Arizona have been raped, and they're probably silent about it. They don't talk about it. It's it's something it's it's a horrible thing to deal with, and and obviously CNN does not give a fuck about them. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Be sure to vote on November eighth. This woman here cannot win. This woman here is a horrible human being. Remember what she said. She used her power to make it, to prevent stricter laws. In 2010, Arizona passed the strictest anti-immigration legislation in the history of our country. This legislation, SB 1070, required police officers to inquire into the status of individuals they interacted with. Horrible. I knew that it was my responsibility to do what I could and use what I'd learned over the last years to stop this legislation. I knew that it was my responsibility to do what I could and use what I'd learned over the last years to stop this legislation to stop this legislation to stop this legislation okay everyone well I'll let you go if you like this video subscribe and leave a like and I can make more I think the next one will be on abortion have a good day